Feeling California, is it really home to a bunch of hicks? Is everybody in a trailer park? I mean, let's talk about the pros and cons of Feeling California. I'm Derek Deville, the owner of Realty One Group Empire. I lived in Feeling California for many, many years. I know about Feeling Family Fun Days. I was there um, before Stater Brothers Market was there. And so let's go ahead and dive into it. So if you're new and you're wondering, well, where is Feeling? It's west of the 15 freeway. It's about uh, an hour and 15 minutes north of Ontario and about three hours south of Las Vegas. So let's go ahead and get started with some of the pros of Feeling California. And just in case you're wondering, it's a pH, just like a phone. It's not Palin. It's feeling. Some locals will even say it's not feeling, Derek. It's failing. So the old school people call it Phelan, which is probably the proper way. I had a client named Neil Phelan, P-H-E-L-A-N, and he said, Derek, Phelan is the correct, but we're gonna call it Phelan because that's just what most people call it. So um, let's start with some of the pros. Affordability, average price in Phelan is 447,000. Now let me say this. There are many single wide and mobile home in Phelan, and then there's also large custom homes in Phelan. So that, that average price, you're gonna find some homes that are 300,000, some homes that are 500, 550,000. It is a super broad range. Most um, of, the, of the mobile homes are not in a park. Most of them are on their own land. So just keep that in mind. So affordability is a big plus for Phelan, California. Elbow room, guys. You have, most lots are about two acres or two acres plus. You have lots of room. So a lot of people will have gardens. A lot of people will ride their, their dirt bikes or let their kids ride their dirt bikes in their yard. Um, most everybody in Feeland has a dog. Um, so there's just lots of room to have that. Now you're only about 30 minutes from skiing or snowboarding, which is in Mountain High, which is in Wrightwood. So that is a huge plus to me. You're about 30 minutes from skiing and snowboarding. Also fantastic hiking in Wrightwood. Also you can get out of the summer heats and get up into Wrightwood. So that proximity is nice. And you're only about an hour and a half from the beach. And like I said, you're three hours from Las Vegas. So like I've said in my other films, you could literally go down in the morning to surf, go skiing in the afternoon, and then be in Vegas to have dinner, which is pretty cool. You can't do that in most places. The next pro I have is clean air. Phelan has a lot of clean air. The only caveat to that is when it's windy and um, people are getting home from work, it, it gets very dusty. But overall, the air is very clean. There's, there's really no smog whatsoever to, to speak of. The mountains, San Bernardino uh, Forest, really kind of blocks it. Um, so if you're local, you know what that is. Now, I put this down as a pro. You get a couple of inches of snow a year. I think it's cool to get snow. If you hate snow and you're like, there, I can't deal with one to two inches for one to two days a year, well then, you know, stay at the beach. That, that's your spot. But if you think it would be kind of cool to have an inch or two a year for a couple of days a year, that's what happens. There are some years where we get no snow. But there are some years where maybe you get snow three times a year. But like I said, it's only an inch or two. But it is definitely beautiful. And you haven't seen the high desert. Um, the, the Joshua trees are beautiful. And when everything is covered white in the desert, especially this is the high desert, that's why it gets the snow, the high elevation. It's really, really cool. So I consider that a big plus as far as getting some snow. The next thing I have is off-roading. If you have dirt bikes, quads, UTVs, Polaris, whatever you've got, you're gonna love it. Same with horses. You can literally ride right out of your yard. Most of the homes are all on dirt roads. And so you can just blaze out and go and just tear up the desert. I love, love, love riding my dirt bike in the desert after it would rain. If we got rain, which isn't very often, man, the traction was maximum and it was awesome, awesome riding. So there's some fantastic riding and feeling. You've got hill climb, super hill climb. Um, now the city, I should say this, as I'm, I'm uh, getting older, I guess, there has definitely been a change in the city. Um, back when I was in high school, that was when they really started trying to crack down on people riding all around town or up in the mountains, and they continue to get more stringent on that, but it's still available. Um, sunshine, there's a lot of sunshine in Phelan, it's Southern California, and you get a lot of sunshine, which is awesome, so that's a big plus. There is a grocery store in town, so I, I think that's a plus. There's one at Stater Brothers Markets. I actually worked there for six years before I got in real estate, and uh, so you do have a grocery store right there in town. You're only about 20 to 30 minutes from the 15 freeway, which is not bad. And most of the residents of Phelan 
They commute down the hill, as we call it, through the Cajon Pass on the I-15 freeway south into the Inland Empire, Ontario, Ranch Cucamonga, Pomona, Fontana, and some people into LA. So you're only about 20 or 30 minutes from the 15 freeway, depending on where you're at. And the last pro that I have is in the winter only about 59 degrees. And that's only a couple of months that really it's like that, and then typically it's warmer. So some other just pros, kind of cool things that you might enjoy. Feeland Family Fun Days is a small um, time that just passed here recently where everybody gets together. There's typically classic cars there and some carnival events for the kids and, and stuff like that. That's really cool if you like that small town feel. Uh, Feeland has very limited shopping, which is a plus and a negative because it is a small town feel. So you have the Feeland Town Square and the Stater Brothers Shopping Center and that's, that's pretty much it. So let's talk about some of the cons. Um, first con I have is you are not as close to the freeway as you are, as um, I should say, Hesperia, Victorville, Oak Hills. They are right there on the 15 freeway, so they're able to pop down the, the Cajon Pass to get to work. So that's a con, you are a little bit further away from that. Another con I have, and this really applies to the entire high desert, is it's windy. It's windy a lot of the time of the year in Feeland. And like I said, on those windy days in the summer when it's when that dust is in the air, you're not gonna have your windows open, I promise you. If you are, dust is coming into your house and it's gonna put a layer on there. But like I said, a lot of the dirt in Feeland is very, very fine and it takes a long time for it to settle. And people just haul butt down the roads, it kicks up the dust and when it's windy, it's nice because it moves it off the road but it blows it right into your house. So if you're thinking about buying a house in Feeland, you wanna make sure that you talk to me or one of my agents and uh, we can give you some local insight. So for example, if you're looking at a major busy road and most of the roads are dirt, you don't wanna be right off of it because when the wind's blowing your direction as people hop down that road, you're just gonna be hammered with dust and it can be very frustrating. And you'll see some people that have signs out in front of their house like, slow down, um, because you just, you're just baiting them in dust. So that's definitely a con. Um, another con is it is 90 plus degrees in the summertime and feeling it can hit, hit 100 and that's not all that uncommon. So if you don't like that heat, keep that in mind. It is a dry heat. The entire high desert has very, very low humidity. So if you're comparing it to Georgia or something like that or Florida, it's gonna be much different. I have family that lives in Georgia and when they come out here, they're acclimated to that type of heat and they think this heat is worse. They're like, man, I can't believe it. It's 100 degrees and it is dry heat. It is just hard to breathe. Vice versa, when people from here go out to Georgia, when it's very hot and humid, you know, it, it feels much worse. So I guess it's, it's all about what you're used to. But the heat definitely is a con. Another con is the fact that you don't get a lot of rain. Now, if you're coming from Seattle, let's say, you're like, no rain, this is awesome. The downside to no rain is the dust and everything's brown. We do not have four seasons here in Feeling. It is, it's either really, really hot or really cold, it feels like, so everything's brown. The schools are okay, I'll, I guess I'll say that. Feeling Elementary is rated a two out of a 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst. And Heritage, which is a parent choice, school is a nine. So the schools overall are not great in Feeling. Serrano High School, which is in Feeling, which of course they didn't name it Feeling High for obvious reasons. Um, so they named it Serrano High. It, it is, it is a, a great school. The Snowline School District is an award-winning school district. So um, I'm not saying the schools are bad by any means, but they're definitely not great if you're looking for eights, nines, and tens. There is definitely some crime in Feeling. Property crime is probably the number one. In the foreclosure market, as I was working for Bank of America, many properties got vandalized. Many of the homes were broken into and copper was stolen or whatever. That has, that has diminished greatly since the Great Recession has ended, but there still is property crime. But as far as the cons and Phelan, overall, Phelan is a small town. It still has a small town feel. It's definitely changed. The entire high desert is changing. It's becoming more like LA. Um, so for us that have grown up here, we've seen that change and a lot of people are leaving the high desert because they don't like that change and they're heading out of state. And it seems like, you know, feeling in the high desert is like the last frontier. People from here, my clients and almost every other client, they leave the state. This is the last opportunity for California to keep you here. And once you get sick of this, 
you leave the state. So anyways, I hope this helps you out. If you want more information, make sure you reach out to me. Like I said, I've got 20 plus years experience here in the Phelan area. I have three offices here locally and I'd love to help you out. Appreciate you watching, have a great day.